uh, hello welcome to rabbit fm this is a new video and this video is about um, a new duct fitting it's a rectangular elbow duct fitting and um, i'm going i'm going i want to show you on the ashray that this particular fitting it has uh, uh, it's a very unique fitting in ashray it has uh, the uh, it has same height in, in the inlet as well as the outlet but the width of inlet and outlet is different now this fitting is normally normally available and it's easy but i was asked to make this fitting uh, not just as per this ashray which is only 90 degrees but you can have it any angle uh, from let's say 15 degrees to 90 degrees so that is this is about so i have already loaded this fitting inside the rivet inside rivet and it's also loaded in my routing preferences here uh, this is my variable with elbow fitting so so this particular duct is 700 by 300 and i'm going to uh, have another duct of some different width uh, but the same height as of this duct and I will start initially with the 90 degree and then I will just and there it goes so this fitting is same as of this all right and the but the thing is that I can have it at any uh, other different value of angle as well so mm, that's what this I'm going to show you so let's say I take it like 800 by let's say 500 and it's this and that time I just take a very different value let's say 350 by 500 and let's say I choose the angle to be let's say 60 degree or, or it can be any and if I choose to trim and mm, there it goes that's a fitting it looks very good when you see it in 3d so there this is the one and it looks pretty cool it has some features of um, uh, this, this the turning veins all right you can turn them off in show and you can also change the length of these turning veins for example if I choose to um, 100 of value for the turning winds they, they become bigger and let's say I make another duct of say 650 by let's say 450 and I have this time rather a bigger duct 1500 by 450 but at an angle of only let's say 30 degrees and if I have to the if I have to fill it and there it goes it has this it has made it so likewise I can turn I can change the length of the turning veins and I can switch them off I can turn them on and off and it looks pretty good and in 3d that's how it is and the good thing is that it also does the pressure drop calculation so I can show them here let's say uh, let's start with this uh, let's start with this so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to attach uh, an air terminal the very basic air terminal that comes I mean this is the supply terminal and I'm going to put uh, I mean attach on the air terminal on duct and that's it and uh, now it is attached but all uh, I would need an end cap to on this end so that a flow gets close from this side so I would need a duct fitting and and rectangular end cap ready to go and this is and next I'll give some value let's say I give the value of 550 liters per second and just to make sure this 550 goes inside this and then 
you will notice that initially I showed you this table SR31 and um, let's say what which particular loss method uh, are the loss method settings it shows it and it showed me SR31 that's it and it is 8.29 pascals so that's good enough and now let us see if the same it can do or it can do some calculations for uh, the spend which is not there in the ashray so let's see now uh, first i'll go and put the same example a terminal and uh, let's see a terminal or duck that's fine i put some value this time let's say i put 600 lead per second and if i go down and I bring the end cap and close this end and i have got this 600 fine and now here comes the part and yes it is doing the pressure drop calculation and it's fine everything is fine now you can do we can do it with this as well so uh, here terminal all right high terminal supply grill let's say this one and here terminal on duct i do this and this is my end cap let me give some value here uh, the 78 let me change it to 225 pascals and uh, i have this 225 in my duct that's fine and this is my 0.06 pascals pressure drop it's very good so that's uh, fitting that's uh, completely i mean completely new fitting here and i'm very excited about this fitting it does a good job here but uh, um, the thing is that it is useful only when we have uh, the height on both ends the same but the width is going to vary and we could have it at any angle from let's say 15 degree to 19 degree 90 degrees and pretty good thing is that it does the pressure drop calculations as well thank you for watching